In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called simplifying a ratio of linear polynomials, 1, minus 1, and no simplification. We're given here two expressions to simplify. The first one has 2y plus 7 in the numerator, 7y plus 2 in the denominator. And while it's tempting to try to cancel something here, I could only cancel if there was a factor in the top and the bottom that was exactly the same, like factoring out a 2 from the top and factoring out a 2 from the bottom, if possible, I could then cancel those 2s. But in this case, there is nothing I can factor out of the top or the bottom, and even changing the order, such as writing the top as a 7 plus 2y, still doesn't give me anything common in the numerator and denominator that I can cancel. So our top expression cannot be simplified. For the bottom expression, I have y minus 3 and then a negative 3 plus y. And here again, there's nothing that I can factor out of each one. However, I can change the order of addition as long as I keep the signs with it. So I can rewrite this numerator, which is y minus 3. I could write it as a minus 3 plus y, just changing the order of addition. And then I can see that the minus 3 plus y in the denominator is actually the same as the numerator. It's just written in a different order. And whenever my numerator and denominator are exactly the same, that simplifies to just being 1. So we had a situation where there was no simplification and an example where there was 1. Just to give an example of where we have a minus 1, if I had an x minus y over a y minus x, here, if I factor a negative out of the numerator, factor out a negative 1, then my x would become negative and my y would become positive. If I wrote the y first, I can see that that would cancel with the denominator. The y minus x and y minus x, factoring out a negative 1 is a nice way of changing the order of subtraction. Canceling those y minus x's would then give me a minus 1. Again, if this was one of the questions that we were being asked. 